Hey everyone, my name is Lynx Camelli. Welcome to the Weekly Links. Today I'm going to be doing a commentary style video of tanking Savage and uh, my mentality when I go into it, why I do certain things, my cooldown rotations and whatnot. Hopefully to give you guys a better idea of how I tank and uh, how it can improve your tanking. So let's jump into it. Alright, I jumped into a quick fulmination here. Uh, it's a zero chest party because I already did my weekly clears this week. Uh, let me turn the music down a bit. This thing's kind of loud. Um, and I'm just going to be tanking this, as I said, going over my mentality, uh, hopefully giving you guys a better idea of what I do and why I do it. Uh, we have two melees here, so that means I'll be third. And then I'm going to tell the other tank I'll take... Oh, he's going to take both. Okay, so this guy, he said he's going to take both actions. It sounds good. Let me put my stance up here. Uh, put my food on as well. I'm using the Sausage and Sauerkraut, and I am using a 240 GCD. I wonder if you guys can see this on my camera in the way. So a 240 GCD... Uh, my best in slot list is something I made in kind of my own, but it's basically like the the normal balance best in slot, but replace some of the uh, some of the melds with skill speed, and then you'll get the two four zero. We have quite a bit of perfect legends in here. This was listed as a optimization run, so I'm hoping we get a click a quick clear here. I don't want to be in here for too long. All right, so we actually just wiped, but you guys aren't gonna see that. I'm not gonna put that in the video. I just want to get one clean run through the entire fight. Uh, so waiting for this person to ready up, and then we'll pull. So I'm going to do a unmanned first GCD Rampart into an Edge of Shadow. I can't use a TBN early because this guy will not uh, break my TBN in two auto attacks. Uh, so I'm going to put up my 20 second timer here. And then when this hits 10 seconds, I'm going to pop my sprint. And then as soon as it hits one, route one to, to the start timer, I will uh, unmanned into Rampart and Edge of Shadow as fast as possible and bring the boss middle. So 10 seconds, hit my sprint, getting ready to, to use my unmanned. Uh, and then I'll move right, move right in. So roundabout one, pull here, rampart, and then that. Moving back to the middle, use my blood weapon as late as possible. Put up my potion, I'm gonna use a reprisal plus my AOE mitigation. One more GCD, I'm gonna use edge of shadow and my uh, delirium, then my living shape, what is this called, living shadow? And uh, pop all my cooldowns. I need to save one gap closer in this fight for when we move to the corner. So this is basically like a pretty simple opener minus the, uh, the extra plunge that I save. I know I can get an entire Soul Leader combo off here before I run to the corner, so I'm going to try to max melee while he's getting my last Soul Leader off, and then move to the corner. I'm a bit of a safe player here, so I'm going to wait for the AoEs before I jump back in. You can move a bit earlier, but I like just being safe because I've gotten myself killed a lot there. Uh, as soon as I come back in, I'm going to grab this orb. Uh, around about like a few seconds from now. You don't have to wait as long as I do, but I like to wait for the next cast to grab my orb, just because, I don't know, that's my own little thing. Uh, and then I know that in the next cast there will be an AoE, and I can use my Shadow Wall near the end of the cast bar to catch the AoE and the Tank Buster. So right as my next GCD goes off, I'm going to Shadow Wall. This should catch the Judgment Volts. I'm going to use my Blood Weapon as late as possible, and then TBN because this, there, there's a Tank Buster coming in. Uh, waiting for the Trick Attack. There it is. So I'm going to start popping all my cooldowns. You can see my TBN lasted, and the Shadow Wall lasted. So I got two mitigations in one. Stormcloud Summons. I like to use my Dark Mind here. Uh, because the auto attacks in this fight are actually magical. And then I will also use a TBN here. Two attacks, or two explosions, then to the corner. Uh, they didn't lose a GCD. Oh, I, I forgot to grab an orb. That's okay. Uh, that person still has their paralysis. Don't paralyze me, bro. Uh, we might actually just wipe this run. Hmm. My cooldown's coming back up. We lost our trick attack, but that's okay. They'll come up soon. Mm -mm. Alright, just popping on my cooldowns. Doing normal stuff. Uh, spamming this, this button 10 times in a row. Alright, summons are coming through. It is a short. I'm going to use my Rampart uh, near the end of the cast bar over here. So I'm going to use it right now. This will mitigate the knockback damage plus the tank buster that comes in a few seconds. I'm going to use my blood weapon immediately, run in, wait for the cast bar, and then I'll TBN. Use my Living Shadow. I got uh, all the raid buffs up. My Living Shadow will only have tech set, but that's okay. Move the boss as middle as possible, gap close to not lose charges, and then I'm going to mitigate this with two things here. <laughs> Popping uh, as much mana into the raid buffs as I can, get my last gap closer, move him a little bit more. Now he's perfectly centered. Fury's Bolt is coming with a Thunderstorm. My Dark Mind is back up. I like to use Dark Mind for the Thunderstorm here. Uh, grab my orb right here. And then when I see the Thunderstorm AoE around me, that's when I like to TP in, and then I'll use my Dark Mind uh, if it's first. Then I'll use it when I see the AoE, and if I'm second, then I will use it. So I, they got it first. I'll wait until theirs goes away, and then I'll use my Dark Mind. So that auto just hit me. Use Dark Mind here. I'm going to catch this auto attack, and then I'll TB in when I see this around me, uh, and then I'll mitigate a lot of damage. This phase here is pretty heavy for the main tank, so I like to stack mitigations here just to make sure the heal is having a good time. Uh, use my 
thing here. I see that the, the trick attack is up. Uh, and this will be a tank buster, so I'm going to use my Shadow Wall, TBN, use my Delirium, uh, and then pop on my cooldowns here into the Trick Attack. I should have my Reprisal up for this incoming damage coming up. Uh, there's an AoE here. Oh, there's not. It's a Step Leader. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to lose out on 20 gauge because I ended on a Soul Leader combo, but that's okay. 20 gauge isn't too bad to lose throughout an entire fight, uh, and that's all I should lose here. I'm going to TBN a little bit early here. That was actually a mistake, but it should, cast, like, it should catch the Judgment Volts plus the Auto Attack. And pop. Yep, okay, so it was a little bit early, uh, but that's fine because it still caught all the damage I wanted to. Just helping out the healers here. Fury's 14, so I'm going to grab my orb in a little bit. Ba -da -dum, wait here. Waiting for my timer here to get under 30 seconds before I use my Edge of Shadow, so that way I get the full 30 second buff. And that way I don't lose any time on my, my timer here. Uh, in between blood weapons, so your, your blood weapon is kind of like your 60 second burst window. In between your blood weapons, you want to use one Edge of Shadow. So you'll see that my blood weapon is going to come up. I'm going to use a Blood Spiller plus an Edge of Shadow. So this will be North, and then I'm going to use... I'm going to save on my Living Shadow, because I know that the Raid Buffs will come after. I can probably get off all my AoEs, or all my cooldowns here. There you go. I'm third in line. Perfect. Got everything off. Hit the hit the thing there. Okay. When I see the Raid Buffs, I'll pop Living Shadow. Ba -da -doom, and then use as much uh, AoE, or as man much mana as possible. Uh, this should be full centered here. Yep, so we got full centered. Furious Bolt is coming up. We'll need to grab an orb soon. I'm going to pop as much damage into this trick attack as I can. Grabbing the orb. Step leader. And then my delirium will come up and I'll catch a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of that tech step. Oh, I actually got my, my salt earth inside tech step. That's pretty nice. <laughs> so chain lightning's coming up. Uh, I'm going to use a dark mind and a rampart for the damage. I'm going to rampart early to catch auto attacks. I'm going to TBN the crippling blow. And then when I see the lightning go on Alice, that's when I'll dark mind. Boom, Dark Mine. I'm going to catch Auto Attacks plus the Chain Lightning uh, chain lightning Pass and the AoE that should be coming up soon. I'm going to put up both Mitigations, my Reprisal and my AoE here. We double stacked our Reprisal, but that's okay. My Dark Mine fell off early. Also not a big deal. Making sure I don't cap on, on Gauge or on uh, Charges or Cooldowns. Grab the Chain Lightning. This is the last pass. Okay, we see the, the, the Trick Attack is up. The Trick Attack is a bit delayed because of the fact that uh, he died, but that's okay. We'll put up a put up a blood spiller. I'm gonna save one one TBN because uh, I know that there's some damage coming up soon that I want to mitigate, and that'll be the thunderstorm. So during the thunderstorm, I probably won't get my dark mind up. Uh, that person stole my orb. That's unlucky. I have to go out to grab an orb now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move early. This is pretty bad, but uh, that's what I have to do, dude. The the summoner came up and stole my thing. We'll move around a bit. Step leader coming through, gonna move max melee so I can run into the boss, move into the boss. Everyone's in the middle of the boss, yep. I'm not gonna readjust the boss, this should be fine positioning for the rest of the fight. Uh, we'll use blood weapon here. Crippling blow, put up my two mitigations, waiting for the trick attack. I'm not sure if it'll come up here, uh, but I'm gonna pop all my cooldowns. Judgment volts, yep, that's all normal. Pop all my cooldowns here, make sure I'm not losing any damage. There's the trick attack. Okay, I could have delayed it a little bit, but this is fine. Uh, and then I used my Living Shadow when I saw the AoE buffs go out. Fury's 14, grabbing my orb. So depending on how, if he jumps north, this is actually really good. If he jumps south, then this is not good at all. Uh, but we did what we had to do because of Mr. Summoner coming and stealing our thing. Uh, there's a little bit left on the raid buff, so I'm going to use my Blood Spiller. And I can use an Edge of Shadow here. We're getting a melee LB going off, that's good. Everyone has an orb, perfect. Let's see where he jumps. I need to watch for the horses. So he will jump south. Unlucky, but it is what it is. Use a gap closer when he moves. Oh, I actually didn't get it in time. That's okay. I can get one more one more soul, uh, soul eater and then move. I'm third in line. Perfect. Everyone got their thing. Everything here is looking good. Move to the safe spot. Perfect. Uh, two people died, but that's okay. I don't even I didn't even see what my gauge was at, so I might have overcapped there, but that's okay. I'm gonna use my rampart here. We need an orb here because it's a, a buff judgment bolt, so everyone has an orb. Perfect. I have three, so, you know, lucky me. Uh, the ninja's dead. We're not going to get any more raid buffs out, so I'm just going to start popping my cooldowns as soon as I can. Next auto attack, uh, after storm clouds, I will use my blackest knight. And then I'll TBN as well. This should catch two auto attacks plus one zap around me. And it didn't break. Perfect. And I got that guy paralyzed. Not my fault. He was too close. Uh, but that's okay. He's my, my arm's length. Pop as many uh, damage buttons as I can. This is actually a pretty good kill time for me. I should have potioned here. I could have gotten a decent parse. Uh, getting a kill right after your Delirium is a really, really good parse run, but uh, that's the way it goes. 
put up mitigations. I have enough for one more blood spiller. The boss is going to die. And then that's the entire rotation. A little bit of a scuffed pull at the end, but, you know, that's my tanking uh, my tanking for E5. It was okay. Uh, Could have been better if people weren't dying and we had trick attacks on time. Uh, but for an RDPS parse, I don't think that's too bad. Let's upload it and see what we got. All right, so let's check out the kill. What was the parse here? We got 95. Again, could have been better because of... Uh, just the kill time and the buffs not going out on time. And they're definitely nowhere near my PB, uh, but it was pretty decent. Obviously not getting a good ADPS parts because we just didn't have the comp for it and the trick attacks were a bit delayed. Uh, but, you know, in Orange Run while, while talking to you guys and trying to commentate on everything I'm doing, I'm okay with that. Uh, getting an Orange while, you know, being distracted is, is not too bad for me. So I'm happy with that run. So I know I get a lot of questions on Warrior about when to use Flash over Run Tuition. Uh, I'm going to run a quick E6S. And then hopefully, uh, since that fight has a bit more on the tanking, you know, needing to swap between these two, we will get a, a good, you know, com commentary over when you should use Flash, when you should use Ron Tuition, as well as some other tanking, uh, like moving the bosses or how to do certain strats. Okay, so we'll wait for this party to get in, and then we'll do E-Success on Warrior. Picking our corners here, uh, I guess I'll go Northwest, because that's fine. We uh, have, yeah, okay, everything's perfect here, perfect. Uh, this guy has a stance on, but I like pulling this fight, so I'm gonna ask, is it cool if I pull, question mark? Always just trying to be polite. Uh, if you want to do something, then just ask for it. Ask these people if it's all good. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty adjustable, so if he says no, if he says no, I want to pull, then that's fine, but uh, I'll just ask. Okay, so I got it. Perfect. Generally, you don't really want to pull as a paladin anyways. Um, but yeah, so I was northwest, which means I'll be on one for most mechanics, and north for the uh, the tornadoes. Waiting for the ready check. You want Ifrit or Garuda? He asked me. Uh, I'll take Ifrit. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with Ifrit. Ifrit for me is not too bad. And then we'll have a countdown go up. So uh, this fight I think is a bit harder than E5S for tanking uh, or in general. But it's just mostly because of the adaptability that you need with different mechanics. Hopefully I'll go over uh, how I do these things. So I'm a bit like... You guys might be asking why I keep turning my camera. I'm a bit of a weirdo when it comes to camera angles. Like I'm super... Uh, I don't know, I just care so much about my angle of when I pull the boss and, and things like that, so. Uh, I don't need to put up any mitigation at the start here because this boss goes like directly into a uh, an AoE like right at the beginning, but I am gonna put up a reprisal early just so that the Paladin doesn't overcap with mine, uh, and then I'll catch the Super Storm here. I'm saving the uh, cooldowns because there's a mechanic later on, I'm gonna use my Equilibrium pretty soon as well, uh, because this class is pretty broken. There's a mechanic coming up, uh, this thing right here, where you can actually run out or stay in if you want to, if you have enough mitigation. So I like to mitigate through this. I'll put up a uh, Vengeance and a, a Raw Intuition, and then I'll be able to live through this perfectly fine. Yeah, this is okay. Uh, you guys might think I'm really, really low, but don't worry. I, I, this is actually decent, like decently uh, okay HP. There isn't too much damage that goes out in the first phase of this fight. Uh, it's basically just auto attacks until like, you know, the second phase. So as you can see, like 19Ks, 20Ks, I mean, I got like one Tetragrammaton and I was fine. Uh, so that that bit of damage there is a bit difficult if you like are progressing, but on farm it's fine. Uh, I use an, an inner chaos here, and this is where the thing comes in. So I don't need my run tuition anytime soon. So I'm going to use my inner chaos and my nascent flash, and that'll heal me up. Uh, use my thing here. I see a trick attack is out. I'm gonna put my upheaval in it, get one more GCD off, and then inner chaos inside the trick attack. Boom, move in because the boss is gonna go middle. I am on one, so I'm going to one. And then some people like to invuln in the middle here to get GCDs. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, so I like to actually run out. I'm not too too much of a greedy boy. Uh, if I was like, if this was a, an optimization run, then I would definitely do it. But I'm just gonna get one more GCD and then move out. But boom, that's all I do. Uh, you can if you want to invuln and stay in, but I don't like to. But I am gonna run tuition, run in, and then pop my IR. I didn't even need to run tuition. I actually uh, dodged that entire AOE, which is good. I should get all my cleaves off here, my IR. Let's see, one more GCD. Uh, as soon as the AoE goes out, he'll go away. Yeah, so I got the whole IR off. I didn't really delay my cooldowns by too much, and I didn't need to invuln, which is, you know, that's good for the healers. Move out a bit, and then I'm going to gap close in. I'm going to use my Rampart here, and then I'll use my Thrill of Battle when uh, the second or one other thing comes off. So Thrill of Battle here. You don't need this much mitigation, really, but I just like to put up as much as possible. Shirk the guy. I get hit for 20k, and I had double mitigation up, so, you know, a little, little bit of an over, uh, over mitigating, but that's okay. Uh, I have to drop my stance here because this fight is difficult for a threat. And then I'm going to, let's see, I have an inner chaos here, plus I can cleave here. Okay, so I'm going to put my eye back up. And then I will inner chaos and then give my uh, 
my nascent flash to the the off or the off tank or the main tank here, I guess, uh, to heal him because there's an AOE here. So I get like two GCDs of healing here. Uh, this should be up north. It's just tanks. Yep. So the adaptability here is just figuring out where you want to go. Looks like I'm going to be here. That's fine. Max melee as much as possible, just so the boss doesn't uh, like overlap people. And I got the close guy, which is good. So I got full melee uptime. The other tanks gonna pull the boss a little bit middle. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So I have IR in. 10 seconds, which means I will need to use another eye combo because I won't have enough time on my eye. Uh, so I overcap my eye a little bit, but that's okay. So we're going to eye here. I'm actually going to enter chaos before my IR, uh, just so I get all of it off. I'm going to shake here because we're stacking for a Vuln, and then I get IR off. Perfect. So IR is delayed a little bit, but that's just the nature of Warrior with downtime. Uh, you'll have to delay your cooldowns every once in a while. I'm going to move off to the side just to see where the tether is. Uh, this is Hands of Hell. They got the tether. Perfect. So I'm going to move away now. Just wanted to see where the tether was going. When it goes to the person, I will either gap close or just run to them. Perfect. So it was close, ran to them. My eye is going to be perfect timing. Put up my stance and focus the guy. When he takes his damage, I will put up a rampart. Boom, rampart. And then I'm going to put up a, uh, a raw intuition. Mm -hmm. This should be perfectly fine mitigation. I'm going to equilibrium out of it. Yep, so it might look like I took a lot, but EQ is up, 80k. That's good. So really, in reality there, I only took about like 80k damage, uh, which is good. Mm -mm. So I'm on Ifrit, moving over. I'm going to put up my eye as soon as possible. I can delay my eye by one GCD, so I'll cleave here, and then pull him a little bit north so I can get ready for the, the tethers. Bring him onto the one marker. This is perfect. Uh, I'm going to use a nascent flash here to heal myself up. Da -da -dum. This isn't going to hit me, so I don't need to use anything, but you can see just how much healing I got from that nascent flash. Look at that, inner chaos for 28k. Easy healing. This is going to be my uh, Vengeance plus Thrill of Battle. Does a bit of damage here. Boom. Move out of the way. Perfect. And then I'll start moving him to the safe spot. I'm going to delay my eye refresh by one GCD with a cleave. And then bring him middle. Oh, it's actually at melee range for a bit. That's okay. Uh, I need to use another uh, inner chaos here because IR is coming up. Mm -mm. Perfect. And then I can use this button and this button. Should get all my cleaves off here. A uh, bit risky, but that's okay. I got a Voln here, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just put up a nascent flash. One more GCD. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get my clean. Let me get my... No! I lost it. No! That's probably because of the downtime I had for uh, the late refresh on my eye. If I would have refreshed my eye on time and not gotten out of melee range but as, as I was moving Ifrit, then I could have got the whole IR off, but that's just a player mistake. Not a big deal. Uh, we have enough mitigation here. We have Sucker. We have Arms Up, so everything's good. I'm gonna run to the north here. Hit him, instantly use my upheaval. I don't want to wait for my eye refresh, so I don't want to line like get my upheaval outlined of a, or line you know what I'm saying. Unlined up with my inner release. I see trick is up, use my inner chaos. Don't need much mitigation here, just gonna grab the tether. I'm gonna move to the exact same spot I was at. This guy probably doesn't want to move because he's a caster. Oh he did, perfect. Uh, same again, max meleeing as much as possible so we don't overlap each other. Everything's good. There's a little bit of a safe spot here, but it's big enough. I'm gonna move him back middle a little bit so we have more space. And there we go. Uh, this fight is, is not too bad for tank damage if you are uh, not stacking bones and going super crazy. I wonder who this is on. I hope it's not on somebody that's far. And it was somebody that was pretty close. Perfect. So I'm getting actually a really good melee uptime here. Mm, bring him back to where he was. Perfect. Always keep a, like, a reference point of where you want the boss to be. Uh, Infernal Howl, I'm going to Reprisal. I need to use an Inner Chaos. So I will jump out of Inner Chaos here. Uh, go to my corner here, and then I'll need to finish off my icon. I'm going to move back a bit so that we have space here to move in. And then IR. Perfect. Move back middle. Or I'll make him face north. Uh, I'll have inner chaoses inside the, the trick attack here. At least one. I'm going to use my shake attack. My shake attack. I'm so bad at talking. I'm going to use my shake here when the AoEs go out. Similar like last time, so that I mitigate the AoE damage. I'm going to stay as close as I possibly can, put up a reprisal. As soon as that goes off, I move middle. That way the AoE isn't on them. They don't have to move too much. And then I get another AoE. Oh, he actually built perfect. So, shirk that guy. And then move out of the way. Perfect. This is a really, really good party. A lot of your cooldowns you'll find, uh, especially in this in this tanking meta, will go to waste. So if I was optimizing super heavily and I mapped all this stuff out, I would be using my cooldowns for auto attacks. Uh, but as I am not much of an optimizing player, I just play for progression. Uh, I don't have like a perfect lineup of cooldowns that you guys can follow and you know get perfect auto attacks. So it's important here, you can get four GCDs before moving to the safe spot. So as soon as this man goes off, I move, dodge, boom, look at that, four GCDs. Get my upheaval off, I'm gonna wait one more GCD, boom. 
And then we have to run to the far side. This is fine. Put up all my cooldowns. If I get low, then I will use a home gang, but I don't think I should get low. I can also EQ. That was three. I know it's five attacks. EQ. Five. Go like this. And then I'll stay right here. Move over a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have my IR coming up. Move behind. I'm going to enter Chaos, actually. Uh, we should get another one off at the end of the fight. Put my IR up. I actually, did you see that? Oh, that's my problem with my mass macros. But that's okay. IR blasting. I'm going to put up a nascent flash on this guy just to heal him a bit. Uh, waiting for the trick attack, and then I will put up my last inner chaos. Eight seconds. I can use a path combo. Uh, I can run out here, but I'm actually just going to home gang this and eat it because easy clap. Doesn't matter to me, dude. Hey, let's go. <laughs> and then I'll put up a, uh, a shake it off in a reprisal. I wonder if we'll get another, another, we should get the trick attack here, right? Yeah, so I was looking at my upheaval thing here. Uh, I'm going to use a cleave, inner chaos, and that should be the whole boss fight. I'll get one more GCD, and then I will go into an onslaught. Using all my gauge for damage, that's everything I can do. And boss is done. Wow, that was actually really, really good, uh, good clean, like, good clean kill. Uh, obviously, because my weapon's bad, this parse is a bit of a pega, and I lost a fell cleave in IR, but other than that, hey, I mean, that was really clean. Uh, a lot of my cooldowns go to waste, because that's just how it is uh, when you're not, you know, optimizing your or like you know really optimizing your farm runs then you, you find that the cooldowns you don't really need them but hopefully that guys gave you a a good idea of how i tank uh somebody asked here no stream links nah not streaming just getting footage for videos smile always nice to see people that uh that recognize me and uh, say what's up. That's really cool. So yeah, uh, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I gave you some insight into my tanking. Uh, next video will be on Saturday. If you guys like this style of video, then you guys should check out my stream. Like that guy was saying, I stream every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, it's basically just like these types of videos. My TWL series is basically like a continuation of my stream. So yeah, if you like this kind of content, check out my stream. Link in the description. I will see you guys next time. That's all I've got for you today, friends. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my content, and check out my Patreon if you want to support me further. Follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for tweets, and join my Discord to engage with me directly. All links are down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Peace!